Alright guys, Ivan here and in this video we're gonna compare Kim Williams against the third place finisher at this New York Pro, Milan Shadek. So for a million time Akim takes second place and this guy he's basically a newcomer. He competed at the Mr. Olympia actually before and placed very well but in 212 category. So now since he was struggling to make the weight because he is a little bit taller than all the other 212 guys, he decided to try himself out in the open category and did very very well. I was expecting him to do great, I was expecting him to crack the top 6 because he has an amazing conditioning, very good shape, very balanced physique, very proportional and symmetrical and all that stuff, so he, he's just good, he's just good bodybuilder. But I didn't expect him to actually crack the top 3 and in my opinion it was very close between him and Akim, simply because of his conditioning, it was much much better than Akim's. But now let's compare them actually, let's watch them pose one next to another and let's see, did judges make a mistake or were they right? Maybe Akim deserved to win, maybe not. Let's start, let's take a look. So at first the judges weren't sure if they should compare Justin Luis Rodriguez to Akim or Milan, but then they realized that Milan was better so they switched their places and now we can see Akim versus Milan, and they are a bit too far apart, Milan probably doesn't have enough experience to know that he should go next to him, because he was actually battling him for second place, in my opinion, not Justin for fourth, it was obvious that he was better than Justin, he was way more conditioned and the difference in size wasn't that apparent, maybe Justin was a little bit bigger, but he was not as bigger as much Akim was bigger than Milan. But the way Akim hits this pose is kind of odd. He does not show any width. He doesn't show the left side at all. He just turns his body on one side completely. And you can see very big thighs for sure. You can see big arms and big chest. But if you look at Milan's physique, he's just broad. He just shows those broad shoulders. And that's what I like to see. But if you look at the mass of the legs, Akim is bigger, way bigger. So I can understand him taking a few points for legs and for the overall mass, but the upper body, the flow of the upper body, or basically the flow of the whole physique is on Milan's side. And if the judging criteria is really changing, if they're looking for more fluent, more symmetrical, more proportional, more beautiful physiques, Milan should take this one. But anyways, let's proceed, let's go with the next one. This one is close, for sure, but I understand giving it to Akim because of the mess. But if you take a look at the flow, you could go with Milan. So it's close, you can go either way, depend on what are you looking for. And as far as I can hear, the dodging criteria is changing, so I don't know why Akim won this one, this competition. I mean, why he placed better than Milan, but it is what it is. Well, let's take a look at the back double bicep pose, and here you can see a noticeable difference in the glutes and the hamstrings. It is very obvious that Akim was off, as he usually is. His glutes and his hamstrings are looking very watery, as well as his lower back. And his back, overall back, is looking awkward in this pose. As far as Milan, he's sharp. He has the best conditioning on this stage after Juan Morel. But again, I mean, you need to take a look at the mess. The shoulders, the upper back, not so much the lower back because it's a bit watery, but also the glutes and the legs, the overall mass of Akim's whole physique, the arms. He's just much more muscular and he was a bit softer, but I guess it wasn't enough to hurt him because he was much bigger than Milan. So I'm not sure who is better looking here. Would you go with mass, with force conditioning or just very good conditioning with a little bit less muscle? I guess it's individual, I can just point things out that you guys can choose, as far as this one at least. It's not just the judging criteria is the way it is, it's just you cannot deny and you cannot ignore this kind of mess. You must award it because this is bodybuilding. So I understand this is a good argument for Akim winning or placing higher than Milan. But now let's take a look at the back lat spread and I can be very confident and say that this one is won by Milan by far, he is just much better. Akim is very awkward in both back poses, but in this one especially. His torso is looking too short and he's lean backwards a bit too much. It just looks awkward. And his glutes, I know they're just watery, but they kind of look like fat ass. I mean, I, did, I can see that they're not. They're just a bit watery. 
but they just look kind of, I don't know, wrong. I don't like what I see. But if you take a look at Milan's back, he's so much wider, he's much drier, his middle back is looking veiny, literally there are separations, his glutes are also looking thicker, his hamstrings are looking better, and he's overall sharper, drier, harder. So I will give this pose to Milan. I think he looked better this pose. He doesn't look smaller, maybe he's out angling at him a little bit, but whatever he's doing, he's doing it right, he does look bigger. And let's go with the next pose, and that's gonna be side triceps. So let's see who looks better this one. Whatever Akim is doing here, he is not hitting side tricep. This is not proper side tricep pose. This is something that blocky bodybuilders who are too big are doing because they can't pull a real side tricep pose, which Milan is doing very, very efficiently so. His shoulders look broad, his waist looks tight. His legs look proper, you can see the glutes, you can see the separation between glutes, hamstrings and quads. The conditioning is on point, the arms look massive, everything is just good. He's just better than Akime, this one. Be my guest, tell me why he is not better. Just point it out, tell me what is better on Akim here. I can't really see anything except the mass, maybe. I mean, yeah, he is bigger, but in this pose... You cannot really see that. You cannot see the difference. Um, Milan maybe looks even bigger because he's doing the pose properly. He's showing a lot of width. He's showing his pecs, his other shoulder a little bit. His arm is pressed to the torso. He's flexing his triceps. His shoulders are looking very hard and defined. And I give this pose to Milan. No doubt about that. And he finishes the pose this way, showing a lot of separation in his chest and his quads. He's definitely very conditioned, and his legs may be smaller than Akim's, but with this kind of separation, they look even bigger, but definitely more impressive. The next pose is called abs and thighs. It's called abs and thighs. Let's take a look at Akim's abs. How can we look at his abs? You cannot see any. Where are they? It, they are below the skin and below the few millimeters of water, probably. You cannot see them. You can see a very watery stomach, very watery lats and chest as well. And then the thighs, same thing, very watery. You can see some separation, but it's under a few millimeters of water. So he was not conditioned, he was not conditioned enough. But if you take a look at the Milan Shadek, you can see the abs, you can actually see the abs. If you look at his thighs, you can see very, very good and deep separation on his quads. So he is showing a lot of muscle at this pose. Akim is not. Akim is just showing very big and blocky physique. He's not showing any detail. He should be dinged for it. He should not be higher as far as placing it in this New York Pro. He should be lower. He lost the majority of the poses. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. But look at this. Look at Akim and look at Milan. Look at the details all over all over him. And also, Akim was not shiny enough. He didn't put enough oil. That's another thing. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. That's a problem. Most muscular pose. Indeed, Akim is more muscular. But look at the details in the chest area. Look at the definition in the chest and the quads. It's freaking obvious. It's very, very obvious. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. It's not even close. This one is won by Milan by a long shot. A long shot. Juan Morel, though, is looking super impressive at this one with his fullness and conditioning. But so is Milan. He is second best here, if you ask me. I look at these two guys. They are dominating this stage. I don't look at Akim. He is bigger than both of them. But is that enough? Apparently it was. Apparently it was to take that second place, to place higher than Milan. But I don't think it should be. I don't think so. And uh, tell me what you guys think about this. Tell me, do you agree with the decision that the judges made? Or do you think Milan should have won? I think Milan was better. But that's just my opinion. You can tell me whatever the hell you want to tell me. Just make sure to comment. And don't forget to like the video as well. And don't forget to subscribe too. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.